JD Davis from Northern California. There's such a large contention of you guys on the team and we just wanted to get your thoughts on, we know home openers opening days are super special, but when you are on the team that you grew up watching for the home opener, what does that mean? I mean, it's unbelievable. It's a dream come true. It's everything what you want um, to open up for your hometown team, um, to line up on the line, to, you know, get text messages, to get, you know, calls from, you know, high school, college, um, just family and friends that are around the area, and just to experience that with them. And um, it's not just about me. It's about, you know, the area, the community, the former coaches, the former teammates, my family and friends who have all contributed to my success and to get to where I am today. So it's not just about me, it's about everybody. And so I think it's just a blessing to have such a big circle of people, of um, supporters and helpers and just uh, kind of get me to where I'm at today. And um, I would say, it's just, again, it's a dream come true. You kind of touched on it a little bit in what you said, but I was talking to Brandon Crawford. And he doesn't know what it's like to not play in front of a bunch of family, almost no matter where he goes. But he also said he never takes it for granted to be able to play in front of family. Now that you're back at the Bay Area, you experienced it a little bit last year, but now you've got a full season ahead of you of friends and family that you know that no matter how you perform, they are going to take you to dinner, love you, hug you. What is that like? For What does that mean to you to have that support here every game at home? I mean, it's it's everything. Um, I think, you know, being on the East Coast in New York, being so far 3,000 miles away, being three hours difference, checking in with them after games or whenever case of trying to call them in the morning, you know, when it's, you know, 9, 10 a.m. and they're, you know, just getting out of bed. Um, it was definitely difficult to, I guess, what's the word, to... Um, uh, to connect with uh, got people over here. So now that, just like you said, uh, I, I spent the last uh, two months of the season over here and got a little bit of a taste of how the culture is and how just kind of, I guess, the assets or just how it kind of collaborated and going into this season and seeing how much resources I have and how much um, success or how many helpers around me that, you know, help me with my success is just, uh, I, I could I can't, brainstorm it or come up with any better solution of that so I think it's a blessing um, I get to see my parents probably every weekend or every you know every other day I mean they they drove in yesterday it took them an hour and 14 minutes from doorstep to Oracle Park so um, they're ecstatic uh, my dad's been there since day one of me being three years old of holding my first bat and first ball and so him able to come out here and see opening day and just kind of be in our backyard and be a part of it it's it's unbelievable it's a blessing that i've never really fully understood until now um and just to be just like what crawford said i mean just don't take it for granted because i've been on the other side I've been three thousand miles away and now i'm an hour and 14 minutes away so it's definitely different and it's uh, it's a blessing i love that to the minute an hour and 14 minutes mom and dad are thrilled last question for you i knew you grew up in the bay area coming to giants games and scott alexander was saying on a day like today he's going to experience his first home opener wearing a giants uniform so are you mm -hmm. He keeps thinking about his dad and coming to ball games with his dad. What mm -hmm. what does this park evoke for you besides that you got a game to play? But it was very nostalgic for Scott. I mean, it is. Um, I grew up coming to all these games. I mean, I, I was out probably a dozen times out in left field. I've been over in Levi's standing. I've been in the third deck. I've been in the second deck. I've been over on the first base side and the third base side of all these games. So as a kid growing up and seeing part of this and coming here with my dad and um, I guess just playing baseball since three years old of going to Little League, going you know all the way through travel ball, middle school, high school, college. He's been there since day one and to kind of experience that for him um, as him, he, him being a former baseball player, he never made it past City College, but to kind of see his dream come about through his son and everything I mean it's a blessing and I can see the joy and the spark in him and also you know my mom is very proud of me and she's contributed just as much as uh, as my dad in the coming years and as I grew up of just taking care of me getting me to practices um, and again just taking care of me so those two are going to be here it's a blessing and I'm so ecstatic that they're going to be able to see a whole, uh, an opening day because they're they saw one in, in New York um, and that was just that was it so just to kind of have an east coast and a west coast opening day for them it's it's pretty remarkable 